we are backstage. We're in the artist lounge. All the ladies have gathered around. That means Enrique's back in the house. Left hand, sorry. What's up, Good to see you again. Good to see you, man. Last time we were doing this was about six months ago. Cold weather. It was I our know. jingle ball. It was indoors, so it wouldn't matter. It was indoors, but it was cold. We were both sick, I remember. I know, I was. Yeah, yeah. You're right. Let's talk. What's going on? Pretty good, pretty good. Good to see you. Good crowd. It's good to see you, too. This is an unbelievable crowd. 20,000 strong out there. Kiss doesn't fail. We don't fail the listeners. Uh, Talk about uh, your spring. I mean, how's it been going? You're just like going from one thing to the next, show to show to show. It's been going good. It's been one of those years in the year, I mean, prior year and this year, that you say, okay, I'm going to take it. I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I'm going to go into the studio, write some songs, but I haven't even had time for that. Really? It's just been going, going, and going with the touring. I was wondering about that. How does it work? Like, do you just brainstorm songs while you're on the road? Do you make time to do it? I can't. I can't. I know a lot, of, uh, a lot of musicians, a lot of artists do it on the road. I can't do it on the road. i got to be home. And uh, um, it's Mi- one of Miami. those... In Miami, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And you never know when it's Miami. Miami's my hometown since I was eight years old. Yeah. But you never know when it's going to happen. It could happen, you know, you could give it a month, and then you write... Uh, <coughs> I'm sorry... 10 songs, so yeah. maybe you give it, you know, eight months and no songs come out. Yeah, but it's, it's cool though. You're at a point where you're not like on a deadline where the label says, like, there's always you, a deadline. Is there really even You guys put on level? the deadline. Oh, it's us. We need yeah. something for the radio. Radio puts on the deadline. That's, you know a, that's a problem. It is a problem. But it's a good thing though, because it's the listener saying, hey, we need some music. We're ready. You know, we need some No, music. it is. It is. I mean, look, I've been so blessed and so yeah. lucky to be able to have a career like the one I've had. Um, and the fans, if it wasn't for the support of the fans, I know that sounds very cliche, but it really does. Yeah. It really comes down to that. When you go up on when you go up on stage, you, you have one of those bad days, you know, where you don't feel good, you have a headache, you're like, oh, you, know, to me. you yeah. see the reaction, you say, whoa, what the hell am I complaining about? Right. And they keep us, they're, listen, they're keeping us both in the job. Definitely. You know, you need it. You have a huge store coming up with Well, they pay you guys a lot more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, no, you're not you're, a radio. You're is. Alone, no problem, yeah. We're, we're in radio for a reason, man. Yeah. Otherwise, you'd be doing TV. Um, you have a huge tour with J-Lo coming up. Mm-hmm. Uh, you guys are adding Kate's like left to right. Talk about the tour. It's crazy. It's been one of those, um, I think there's going to be a good combination. It's, um, it's one of like, when I say multicultural, it's because she's Puerto Rican, yeah. American, me being Spanish and being grown up in the U.S. We're so diverse musically. Yeah. Um, and, um, Wisin and Yandel. Uh, Wisin and Yandel, Wisin and yeah. Yandel. You know, they're, they're, they're from Puerto tone. Rico. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Huge reggaeton. And yeah. they're amazing. I have a few songs with them yeah. that I've done in the past. So it's going to be one of those tours that's going to be definitely a lot of energy. Yeah, and definitely different. The, the fans can expect something that's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, you always put on a punch up. You know what? Now I'm remembering back to Jingle Ball. I remember I was giving you a hard time because you pulled up some girl and I said you were like sucking face with her. But you're like, oh, no, it's just, you know. I don't do it all the time. Really? Just for Boston? Oh, well, I didn't do it today. No, you didn't do it today. You mm-hmm. pulled up a uh, little boy. That was a nice kid. Show. He was a good kid. Yeah, it was a good kid. He's it was saying, a good show, man. It was a really good show. It always, it always surprises me. You pull up a kid on, I mean, whoever it is up on stage, you never know how they're going to react. Yeah. You know, today's, the, the kid, how old was the kid? He said nine, like ten. ten-year-old. Yeah. Ten-year-old, and he was But he was clapping along, and, you know, he crazy. I think kid. you said something funny. You were like, I didn't even think you were born, dude, when I yeah. saw came out. Yeah, I know. Get into it. Uh, real quickly, what's up for the summer? What's for fun? What do, what do you have? Well, for fun right now, I'm going to be on tour. That's, yeah. that's a fun thing. I actually, from here, I go to um, uh, Jersey. Uh, from Jersey for, for another show. I yeah. don't want to mention the competition. Don't even know about that. Uh, and then from there I go to Philadelphia. Yeah. And then I go to, what do I go after? And but I you're having to, fun. I That's the point. I am it's having fun. fun. I am. It is. It is. It's always great to see you, man. Enrique, thank you, sir. It's a pleasure to and see you. And thank you to all the fans. Uh, and thanks to Kiss. Thanks so much. Enrique Iglesias. We're in the Artist Lounge. Kiss 108. Wow, that's a big audience. <laughs>